What's up wizards? I'm going to show you something cool here. We're looking at archetype. Archetype is a kind of replacement for Zod. And the way it works is you have this type function here that you can basically pass in a bunch of properties to. So here we've got age, we've got name, and we've got this email thing here. And the thing that gets inferred is basically like a type here that we get from archetype. And it has all of these things specified. Now, there's a bunch of things that immediately might jump out to you, which is this is very different from something like Zod because it's all done using these kind of magical strings here. If we want age to be a number here, then use a number is fine. But if we want to add some validation, let's say it has to be more than zero, then you can do this. If you somehow specify this wrong, then it's going to yell at you. It's actually going to say type number blah, blah, is not assignable to comparator. This must be followed by a number literal. So it's giving you actual proper errors here, which is crazy if you get the stuff wrong. And you can even just get autocomplete on the basic stuff here. So we've got number is greater than zero. Let's say it's also less than 200, because let's say the oldest human we know can be 200. We've also got this kind of email thing down here. If we remove this question mark, then user ends up being just a, an email that's required here. If it's like this, then it's optional. It's inferred to be optional. How crazy is this? So we're getting all the stuff that we're used to here from Zod where you can, I imagine you can pass this, right? Or do something with it. Can you call it with data unknown const result equals this? And this result is guaranteed to be this check here. So result dot uh, data is going to be this or result dot problems, I imagine. So, so nice. And like, there's a bunch of different things that immediately jump to mind here. You might be thinking, God, this, I bet this is really expensive for TypeScript to run. Well, the author of this has come up with a really nice testing framework to actually test these types and make sure that they're not blowing out the compiler. And it's also got some performance optimizations in there to make sure it doesn't. The documentation currently is still like absolutely horrible. I still would not recommend this, like, but as an alpha product, it's pretty compelling. And just the fact that all of this stuff is possible in TypeScript is like really crazy. I've not even talked about the really crazy stuff, which is like scoped uh, behaviors where you can like reference different types in the same scope. So I'm really, really impressed with what David has done here. I don't know if I would take this over Zod. Currently, I'm just so comfortable with Zod, but I really like that someone is snapping at Zod's coattails, making sure that they stay on their toes. Anyway, I've been Matt and I'm here doing these little updates, showing you cool new stuff in the ecosystem. If you want to learn about TypeScript as well, you can check out my TypeScript course. I'll have another video for you to jump in and watch right there. So click on this, find some more good stuff from me. See you very soon.